I titled this sermon, Cinderella for a simple reason. That's a vivid picture of many relationships today. Because you see, Cinderella, she was poor. You know the story, right? She had a mother-in-law, no, not mother-in-law, stepmother that hated her guts, and they treated her poorly. She barely had good food to eat, and they wouldn't let her to go to that special ball. And even if all of them went in fancy clothes, she was left at home to walk. And then a magician appeared, determined to help her. Hmm, what do we do? Look at mice, two mice, turned them to horses. Look at pumpkin, turned it to, to, to a chariot, right? And next thing we know, she's glowing like this. And she goes to that ball with, you know, like a bowler. <laughs> I, I, I had a preach of it, that was good. That was, I think that was very good. Okay, I just... Yeah. <laughs> and man, as she walks in, does she steal the show? The prince immediately doesn't want to look at anyone else. It's like, wow. Never, ever have I ever. The shoes, everything on point. And he walks up to her and says, Excuse me, dance. You know? <laughs> Can we dance? And then she's carried away as they're dancing. Next thing, the clock. Bam. <laughs> And it's midnight, the magician said, whatever you're doing, wrap it up. Because this thing has an expiration date. <laughs> oh my God, you don't understand how relatable this is. And gradually, the chariot turned to a pumpkin again. <laughs> and you know, I like the way the cartoons portrayed it. As she's trying to run back, boom, she falls to the ground. You know, because the chariot has disappeared and then the horse turns to a mice and then her beautiful dress turns back to rag and all of that. And I said, in a sense, every relationship is a Cinderella story because we embellish. You are going out on a date. You don't have perfume. You, are, you have never used deodorant, maybe, in your life. Maybe. For instance, what's her? You want to tell me, is everybody here that uses deodorant? Oh yeah, raise your hand, let's smell. Ah, I'm just playing, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. <laughs> just playing. <laughs> you know, you, all, you don't bathe every day, but, but this day, you take a shower for a change. And you spray, 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 spray. And you are determined. Just like so winning, you, you know? You, are you, you hide all your weaknesses, you embellish. There are things you will tolerate. As you are driving together, you that... When someone drives rough, you wind down, say, yeah, show you, yeah, well, you know? <laughs> but that day, you just say, mm. <laughs> And on the date, you're nice to everybody. Hi, you know, you're greeting the waiter, you know? And then when it is past midnight, some of you know what I'm saying. There were things you were seeing when the relationship was young that have disappeared. Yes or yes? You stay on the mainland, he stays on the island. You will drive to the mainland, drive you to walk on the island. <laughs> drive you back and then go home. But now, <laughs> am I preaching or I'm preaching? <laughs> what are the things that were there before that are not there now? <laughs> Please, are you listening to me? And all these things are unintentional. That's the way we've been taught to do love. Seemingly, unintentionally, to say it. <laughs> A guy, Stanley Hall, or something like that, he went so far as to say that you will never know who you will marry. In fact, his statement was more extreme. He said, no matter how hard you try, you will marry the wrong person. And this, this is what he's trying to say. He says, no matter who you thought you were marrying, <laughs> you never really know. Hopefully, if you've done a good job, you get all the most important facts. But no matter how meticulous you are, there are some things you will discover after, after some times in the marriage. Like, ah, who is this? Bring your better. Who are you? After midnight, that's where the marriage starts. <laughs> that's where the love really starts. 
when you see each other, you know, <laughs> sides of each other. And even if you manage to marry the right person, the person can change. Pressure changes people. There are very few things that will push you to the wall like marriage. And you listen, I'm, I'm not even talking about bad things. I'm just talking about how, how life-changing the process is in, in itself. You see, when a woman has a baby and the baby comes, it's, it's different. It's hard to explain. Are you getting what I'm saying? I can tell you from, from experience, for instance, you have to rediscover your spouse after that <laughs> because it's totally different because now you are sharing attention are you getting what i'm saying you're sharing at attention if you don't deliberately go out on dates dump the baby we love you folks stay here stay with your grandmother <laughs> and go out trouble may start please are you listening to me so it, it, it's just Things can change. Usually you will marry someone with potential. More often than not, we marry people who have not passed the money test. You don't know his character if he has not handled money before. Oh God, you don't understand what I'm saying. You don't know anybody's true character. If the person has not yet been rich. If the person never blow, you don't know. You see how it rhymes? If the person never blow, you don't what? You don't know. <laughs> You see, money. <laughs> uh, so there are just some things. All I'm saying is you have to be deliberate. Let's play a game. If you are a lady here and you're wearing high heel that is higher than one inch, let, let's say two inches, and you don't mind me working with you for an illustration, please stand up. Thank you, thank you. Who else? Thank you. Who else? Thank you. Okay, hold on. I want something higher, just to be dramatic. If it's high, if it's like three inches, up, okay. Come on, come. On. Who else? See, let me see now. The winner of this game gets hundred dollars. <laughs> oh, guy, don't raise hand. <laughs> wow. All right. Thank you. I'm going to make you run. I hope you don't mind. Oh, KJ, come. come. Now, first and foremost, this is just for illustration. Some of you already have this money. Come, come. Some of you could give me money, sir. So. All right. <laughs> go, go this way. Now, first things first. There are no rules to this game. But you're going to run. <laughs> the first person to get to me. The money is just right here. <laughs> No rules. No rules. The moment I said no rules, you saw what she did? She just loosened the shoe. <laughs> you, you're getting it now. So absolutely no rules. You ready? <laughs> you know what? I know you're all too and all. Just, just try. <laughs> Or do you need more motivation? Should I raise it up? Ah! <laughs> All right, another day, another day. Do you <laughs> Leave it for other illustrations. <laughs> or do you have any better idea to do this? Anyway, just for sports, just for games, just for illustration. All right, one, two. <laughs> Ready, go. <laughs> Ah, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, my God. Sorry. Jesus. Thank you, KG. Please. We're well, joking, but this is serious. She started on heels. Friends, this is the Cinderella story. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm saying? I'm saying that marriage will push you, the pressures, the everything, the embellishments, and well, every other thing will disappear and better make sure that when you are left with your bare self there is something desirous thank you very much do, do, do you get that <laughs> yeah flunked it <laughs> do, do you get that when it is all said and done without the makeup without the high heel make sure 
there's something left. Come on, I get what I'm saying. So build substance, build capacity, get trained, develop your mind. Be intentional. You will be married three times longer than your age when you got married. It's a long time. Do you hear what I just said? That's a long time. So if you get married 25, 75. If Jesus tarries and Jesus, the way things are going, it might take his time. <laughs> you know, you will still be married 70. You should probably take your time. Watch well. Think of where you were 10 years ago. How, do you know how long 10 years ago is? 10 years ago, there was no celebration church. About 10 years ago. Think about that. That's a long time. And then to think about the fact that based on your age, just imagine your age times two, be married for that long. The amount of changes you will see, the amount of battles you will fight. You, you don't want to do that with the wrong person. Please, are you listening to me? The Cinderella approach might be cute. Better be more to you. So thankfully, when the prince went to look for her and saw her in her rags, he still liked that because there was more to her. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying you shouldn't look nice. I'm saying there must be more. 